Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. <laughs> every day I'm like, I'm not gonna put my hair in my legs. And every day I'm like, if I don't do it, I'm gonna wake up when I wake up. Every night I put in my legs. Before, after. The snow is falling. Give Guys, I have been dying to try Pilates, like go to an actual class, like go to like the reformer class and I haven't gotten the chance to like book a class. Yesterday at the gym, I was following a 20 minute workout like on YouTube. It was just like on a yoga mat, it was just body weight and I didn't even get to the whole video. I only did 15 minutes of it because we had to leave and I woke up so freaking sore. Like I'm miserable right now. Yeah. Miserable. I'm in so much <laughs> I'm in so much pain from my arms and my back and holding this little boy is really challenging because he's really heavy. Okay, bye. Have fun wherever you're going. So I just wanted to let you know that I'm really struggling this morning. Like really, really bad. There he goes. Oh my god, I can't even I can't. I just can't. It is a breakfast time for Franco. He's eating French toast, egg, tomato, and papaya. You can eat it? We are eating huevo con chorizo. My mom's here, say hi, mom. Huevo con chorizo! Hola! Huevo con chorizo! We just made huevo con chorizo, so I'm gonna eat some of these. Today is exciting because we're actually going to buy Franco's clothes for his bautizo, but before we go, I have a lot of work to do, so that's why my mom's here. I have to get some work done before we leave at once. I'm gonna try to do everything right now. It's nine. Hopefully everything is done by 12. <laughs> I just finished putting Franco down for his first nap. As I said, we have an exciting day ahead of us because Noemi, Franco, and I are heading to get Franco's baptism outfit. We're gonna leave at 1. It is currently 10, so I have to get ready. I have to get some work done. I actually have like four things I have to do for work today and also before I head out I need to pick up and make sure I leave the house clean because my main goal my main priority has been to keep my house looking clean and decluttered because I think that's how I have a more productive day I also believe that's when my mind is the healthiest when I make sure that my house is always picked up and clean which is hard with a baby but I try my best so I'm going to do my makeup really quickly and then we're going to go ahead and start cleaning and then I'm going to get all my work done for the day because I also can't work in a dirty space, you know? I am done with my makeup and this is why I do overnight curls because I'm just done with my makeup and I'm ready to go. I didn't have to do my hair, I didn't have to put heat in my hair, damage it, nothing. And it's just amazing. Now that I'm ready, I have to desperately start cleaning because Noemi and I are heading to Denver and by the time I get home, it's probably going to be like... 6 p.m. and I do not like coming home to a dirty house or to an unorganized house It's just my mental health is at its peak when my house is organized and clean So I'm gonna start off by our master bedroom because we do sleep in it every day and it has to look good So I'm gonna start off with the bathroom Now that I'm done organizing and putting everything back in its place, I'm going to start cleaning the surfaces and the mirrors and the glass. Ever since I had Franco this year, I've been trying to make some sustainable life changes and that starts with cleaning products because he is a little tiny baby that cannot be around harsh chemicals and that was my main priority because I know that he's going to be touching everything, especially now that he's crawling. I have to use these cleaning products that have ingredients that I'm comfortable using. So I've been using Blue Land for a couple of months now and I absolutely love them. Blue Land has a better products and better value. The cleaning tablet would start at two dollars and that really starts adding up so what i'm going to be using right now is a bathroom solution the glass and mirror and also need to restock my foaming hand soaps let me show you how easy this is you're going to fill your forever bottle with warm to hot water 
And then you will drop your tablets. After the tablet dissolves, you just put these back on. I feel really comfortable using these because they are effective, they are affordable, and they are made from people and more importantly from planet-friendly ingredients. Also, Blue Lens products and packaging are Cradle certified, which is a global standard for products that are safe, circular, and responsibly made. And look at that, we are now clean. I'm done cleaning the bathroom and if you want to stock up on sustainable cleaning products for yourself or if you want to gift them to your loved ones at this holiday season, click the link in my description box for 20% off your entire order. Now that I'm done here, I'm going to get Franco's white laundry. I washed his color laundry yesterday. But now it is time for the white. And then since I'm going downstairs already, I'm going to make sure I clean all the surfaces down there. But I'm going to take the glass and mirror cleaner for my glass dining table because that girl does not stay clean. <laughs> I mean, it's getting here in probably like 45 minutes, so I'm gonna start getting some work done that I have to do. I have like four things that I have to turn in right now, so I'm gonna do that while I wait for her to get here. All right, guys, Noemi's here. We are about to head out. We're matching. I kind of copied her outfit. We love it though. Sheesh. All right, we're about to head out. I just packed my bag with everything that I might need for Franco. He's hopefully gonna go <laughs> down for a nap right now, so. We're headed out. Outfit of the day, jeans, converse, a blonde sleeve, and a chaleco. I have my whole village with me here. Ay. ¿Verdad? Yep. Sí, my amor, my. Mm. We stopped by Starbucks. We got this snickerdoodle hot chocolate and with oat milk, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it is honestly the best thing I've ever tried. Naomi put me on and it's perfect. And we have Franco here with his Rachel. <laughs> and I also got a ham and sister croissant. So we're getting energy for the shopping that we're gonna do today, girl. Naomi got us here safe and sound. She has my tush baby, guys. <laughs> so I'm about to put this on to get Franco out of the car because if you know, you know. And if you don't, you'll find out. Que mi amor. Espérame, ok? Déjame pongo esto. Come on, wife. Vente, corazón. Se me están cayendo los pantalones. Ya. This is how it looks. Tush baby vibes. Wow. Luchona vibes. And <laughs> Franco's all smiling. Let's get a close up of that cute face. He's like, what's going on here, girl? Maybe not. Okay. Oh my goodness, he's so handsome. Oh, maybe not in the mouth. All right, guys. Nina found his perfect size. Tid, turn him around. Oh, recuerdo de mi bautizo. Oh, corazón. You're coming home with me. Guys, I think we found his shoes. So we found these cute little shoes. I think we're gonna go with these. Yes or no? Yes. Bravo, Franco. Okay. Ay, corazón. Okay, he thinks he's too cool for me now. Say something for the camera. ¿Y qué más? So Franco woke up from his nap. That was literally a 20 minute nap. Probably 30, right? Yeah. Let me, hold on, actually I'm gonna do the math. He took a nap for 30 minutes, which is not bad, but his naps are usually two hours, so it's kind of bad. Um, I think I found my outfit for the bautizo, and Noemi's trying hers on right now. We got some shoes, some accessories, so we're doing good, I think. Hey, hey, I'm happy. All right, we made it out of the mall. We actually secured our outfits, right, Nomi? Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna get some dinner. It is actually 6.10 and we left the house at two, I right? I don't even know. We left the house at two and it's 6.10, so we've been out for a long, long time. And we're headed to get in and out. It. Well, in and out, sorry. I shouldn't have spelled it out that way, but. Franco! Franco! 
be snacking over there. Uh -huh. We finally made it home. We're about to have dinner. It is 7.39. It's 30 minutes till Franco's bedtime, guys. This is bonkers. We were gone all freaking day. But for good reason, because we honestly bought everything that we needed. For living in Colorado, we don't really spend time in Denver, huh? Ever, yeah. No, today was like the most we've been in Denver. It was really nice. It was a vibe, so. We went to the ghetto, and then we went to the really nice <laughs> Yes, we went into Gucci. Who are we? We didn't get shit. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm about to get started with Franco's bedtime routine. He's actually currently in the shower with the there. But I had to come downstairs. Um, Franco's toothbrush is down here. And that's because when I brush his teeth in the morning, he didn't want to let go of it. So we brought it downstairs. Franco is down for bed. Jonathan is down for bed too. Look at them. It is 11.50 and I'm finally done with the day I'm done having my me time. I'm actually just finishing watching a vlog. Something that stresses me out so much about Vlogmas is how many videos I am missing out on. Like my subscription box is full of videos from all of my friends, all of my favorite influencers, all of the OG YouTubers I've watched for years. And I feel like I just cannot catch up with all of them. Like I'm probably still watching Vlogmas day three from everybody. So that's the only stressful thing about Vlogmas is that my the subscription box is so saturated but i came onto the computer just so i could check my calendar and see what i have going on tomorrow tomorrow is wednesday the 7th so today while you guys are watching this video i think i have to turn in a creative concept for a campaign and then i have to go live with instagram stories today was my busiest day and the fact that i got everything done before we left to denver which was like at one was insane so like, i just want to take a look at next week as well because next week something crazy is happening and i need to be prepared so i have a video i have to turn in i have something i have to go live with another video i have to go live with and another one i have to turn in so i have kind of a more mellow rest of the week after today being the busiest thank god um but i need to get my shit together and start going back to the gym like i told you guys this morning i am so sore from like my entire body from doing 15 minutes of pilates 15 minutes i didn't even use a reformer i didn't even like girl i don't even know who i think i am going to pilates but i think that my friend kaylee and i are gonna go try pilates for the first time we tried soul cycle for the first time together and never went back but it was fun so i told her i was like i want to try pilates and i always try something new with you so do you want to do it with me and she said yes so hopefully we go soon but for now i'm gonna just stick to my home pilates workouts even though I feel like so freaking sore. So hopefully when I wake up, I'm still as motivated as I am right now. I'm going to go shower, put my hair in. You guessed it, legging curls. And that's it. That is it for today's Vlogmas. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you tomorrow on J&J. Because that is where Vlogmas Day 8 will go. Christmas is knocking outside.